Everyone is talking about NixOS these days and guess what, we are right here to help you navigate through the excitement. Hey guys, I'm Jarvis, welcome back in this video. In our last video, we showed you how to install NixOS alongside Windows 11. Now uh, we are back with something exciting, the top thing you should do after installing NixOS in your system. Whether you are new to NixOS or an old pro, these steps are gonna help you make the most of it. Get ready to level up your NixOS game with a top 10 must to do thing after installing NixOS. Uh, imagine NixOS is like a personalized recipe for your computer. Instead of fusing uh, with different files, you put all your preferences in one place and NixOS handle the rest. Whether you are tech guru or just getting started, NixOS is about simplicity and control. Ok, let's enough for intro, it's time to deep dive into the world of NixOS. Uh, so here's the very first step to take is updating your channels. So open the terminal and enter the command nix-channel-update. Uh, this ensures that you are up to date with the latest package packages and improvement. And we are done. Now the next command is to run sudo build switch-upgrade to ensure your entire system is upgraded to the latest version. Uh, Alright, uh, these are the steps to uh, update your uh, system to the latest version so uh, it may take time so I'm gonna fast forward the video to make it short our system is not updated uh, let's talk about something super important taking care of your config file uh, think of these config file as your digital treasure map they hold the secret to your personalized system your app tweaks and all that jazz uh, so we have to make sure that we have a copy of uh, these config file before tweak anything into the system uh, so here is why uh, you gotta do uh, make uh, copies of these file and tuck them away into the safe spot that way if anything goes wrong you have a backup plan to bring your nixos into the prime uh, so here is the configuration file uh, i'm gonna copy and uh, copy it and paste in the safe place so let me open in the file manager go to the root folder nixos and here search for etc and here search for nixos so guys these are the two files uh, configuration and hardware configuration copy copy this file and paste anywhere you want uh, i'm gonna paste this in pictures for now now our file is now copied now we are ready to uh, tweak some changes into the system so let's move to the next step Uh, now the another thing I'm gonna do is installing Brave uh, browser. So head over to any browser I'm using Firefox and search for NixOS. Uh, let me skip this. And here go to packages and search for Brave browser. Uh, let me search for Brave, hit enter and this is the Brave. Now uh, head over to NixENV and copy this command and open terminal and paste this command as it is and it will install the brave browser into your system so let's wait so uh, process is not done uh, let's check browser is installed or not so yes brave browser is not successfully installed in our system If you want to install any uh, software uh, using nix command then simply type the package name uh, with this nix env a and hit enter it will install the package in your system and now uh, this command with, uh, will show the uh, installed uh, software using these commands uh, brave and vocal screen I installed this uh, two uh, software using this nix env uh, command now uh, if you want to uninstall any software uh, in my case I am gonna install brave again uh, so here brave is not installed let's search for brave so yes brave is not successfully installed from our system so that's it for this commands now uh, it's time to install genome to tool uh, guys genome to tool is very important if you want to take into the linux system uh, mainly in the genome desktop environment so i'm gonna install genome uh, genome is not installed let me search for twix From tweak, uh, we can tweak everything from your desktop layout 
to your phones and icon it's like giving your desktop a whole new look that's the best part is uh, it's it is easy and oh so, so satisfying your next os experience just got whole lot more personal and the first thing i'm gonna do is enable uh, the maximize and minimize, minimize button by default in the next os these button are uh, hidden uh, so uh, if you want to enable it and you have to install genome tool uh, so guys uh, you can also change this the middle click and the right click of uh, the window and you can uh, do many things from here like adding a startup application a startup application are basically uh, it, it, these application will automatically start it when you logged in uh, in my case uh, as as firefox is added at in the startup application then it will open uh, when the when i uh, logged in or when i uh, turned on the system and guys you can also change the font size and appearance uh, of the font on nixos from this uh, genome tweak tool now it's time to open the doors to remote control time to connect your nixos using the ssh imagine this you are away from your nixos computer but you want to access it remotely well hold on uh, to your heads because we are about to make it happen with ssh uh, so search for OpenSSH in the uh, search panel and here is the service for OpenSSH. So copy this service, copy this command and open your, uh, uh, it's time to open the configuration file using the nano. So let me uh, open the configuration file. Uh, so this is the configuration file and guys uh, you need to find a cause spot in that file uh, and paste that command. Uh, so let me paste here and uh, this service dot open ssh dot enable and press ctrl x and ctrl s to save the changes and now uh, let's check uh, if command is copied or not uh, so guys yes uh, our command is now copied uh, into the nix over configuration file uh, now you can close this and it's time to run the rebuild command uh, uh, it throw error let's check what's the error Uh, so it shows error on line 71 and servicing printing let's enable let's open configuration file again sorry sir uh, sorry we forgot to add uh, equal to true and colon uh, in configuration file so let's run the command again now uh, it's working uh, so guys uh, it will uh, NixOS will work its magic and enabling the SSH service and making it ready for the remote connections. So let's wait. Everything is now done. Uh, we are uh, about to perform a real world test. I am heading over my AWS server and if all goes well, we will remotely connect in no time. So here is my access key. I am gonna paste this command to connect to my server. Uh, let's Let me hit enter. And guys, yes, uh, we are connected uh, to our server. Uh, as you can see, the system configuration, uh, memory usage, swap usage, and welcome to Ubuntu 2.22.0. And let me clear it. And so, guys, to uh, exit from this, just uh, type exit. It will uh, disconnect us, disconnect you from the server. So that's it for the OpenSSH. We all know that NTFS drives are everywhere and by default NixOS doesn't quite get along with them. But we are not. We are about to change that. Our mission is to enable the NTFS support so that we can smoothly interact with those Windows friendly drives. Uh, so as you can see I'm facing an issue like unable to access location. Uh, this uh, this issue we are facing because by default NixOS doesn't provide NTFS support. Uh, so uh, uh, in this part I'm gonna enable the NTFS support. So uh, let's open the uh, NixOS configuration file again. Uh, so here is our configuration file. Uh, guys, we need to uh, add one command. Uh, let me paste it. First, I'm gonna add a command ntfs support. And here I'm gonna paste this command boot dot supported file system uh, ntfs. Uh, uh, guys, you need to add this command into the configuration file and press Control S and Control X to save the changes. Let's check uh, command is added or not. Guys, yes, ntfs support command is now added. Now let's open the file manager. Uh, let me exit from here. So 
सो गाइज इट्स शोज एरर अगेन बिकॉज वी आर वी हैवेंट रन द रिबिल्ड कमांड सो ओपन द टर्मिनल and run we have to run this rebuild command to rebuild the system and next was we need enable the support of ntfs in our next os so let's wait uh it's now it's done uh you can close this and i'm going to open file manager again and let's check this time it asking for password so guys yes we can smoothly access these drive uh, so by this way you can install uh, you can enable the support of ntfs uh, drives in your nixio system sometimes you want app data data not in the regular nixio package menu that's why flatpak come in it's like a treasure troves of app waiting for you uh, to get started open the configuration file and here you need to add a service for flatpak so uh, i'm going to add a service uh, just above the open ssh uh, uh, service so let me add a comment and guys you need to paste this command to uh, enable the uh, support for flatpak services.flatpak.enable equals to true uh, now it's done and guys i'm going to add a comment for this open ssh too Uh, now it's done uh, let's save the changes and press control s and control x to save the changes uh, it's time to rebuild the command again uh, so i'm going to run this nixos rebuild switch and it enter it will uh, uh, did uh, in it, it will enable the support of a uh, uh, flat pack Uh, now i am going to add a direct remote directory for the flat pack so paste this command i will provide this command in the description box uh, so let's run the flat pack uh, it should not come in specified let me run this flat pack hyphen hyphen help uh, uh, so guys it's mean flat pack is now installed on our system uh, now open any browser and head over to the flat pack website and guys here so let me install telegram first i am going to search for telegram and here uh, go to install and you need to copy this command flatpak install uh, flatpak over the telegram to desktop and let me run this command and guys it will install the telegram uh, into your system so let's wait it may take uh, time depend on the internet speed internet speed Uh, so installation is now complete let's check uh, telegram is installed or not so yes as you can see telegram is now successfully installed into our, our system so by this way you can install any software using the flat pack now we are diving deeper into the nixos configuration file now uh, i'm going to install a uh, software using the nixos configuration file uh, simply open the configuration file and here search for applications here as you can see packages guys uh, if you want to install any application uh, using the nixio configuration file then simply add the package name here like i'm going to install vlc and uh, i'm going to add new fetch and guys uh, uh, if i uh, save the changes and rebuild the command then it will install vlc and the new fetch in your nixio system Okay uh, now let's check VLC is installed or not so let me search for VLC uh, so guys congratulation uh, VLC is now successfully installed using the nixos configuration file so by this way you can install any software uh, from the configuration file uh, let's run new fetch new fetch is also installed guys if you want to remove any package using this uh, simply remove the uh, remove the package name from the configuration file and rebuild the command and it will uninstall the software uh, like uh, uh, new fetch or any other software you want to uninstall from nixos package management you are about to unlock the ability to choose between the nixos and windows whenever you start up your computer it's like having the rest Uh, best of both worlds uh, to make it happen open the configuration file of nixos let me open it
and here search for the bootloader uh, where is the bootloader uh, so guys here is the bootloader uh, now we need to add some command uh, let me show you the commands so guys we need to copy this command and paste uh, under the bootloader uh, so let me copy it and paste below the bootloader Uh, so guys we have duplicate command for can touch afi variables let me delete this and uh, guys don't forget to comment this system boot enable true and guys we are done uh, let's save the changes uh, i'm gonna press uh, ctrl s and ctrl x to save the changes and uh, now guys we are done uh, if when you when you restart your computer then it will ask you to switch between your windows os and your nix os uh, so guys as you can see using cat we we can see we have successfully copied this command uh, let's wrap up thing with a simple yet significant tweak enabling the battery percentage into your nix os so open setting and here search for power and here we have show battery percentage so by this way you can enable the battery percentage uh, into your nix os so guys uh, i hope you like this video uh, if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching tech Jarvis. that's it for the 10 things to do after installing nix os